Welcome back, I'm Adam, and today we'll be welding some 3 inch 063 wall stainless tubing. So we have our 3 inch 063 wall tubing here, stainless steel. We have a Michael Furick gas lens. A bigger cup is going to help you get better colors on your stainless welds and get so it doesn't have any oxides. We have an aluminum foil tape so we can tape off the ends when we go and purge this pipe because we're going to get full penetration around this whole joint. High dexterity TIG gloves because we'll be using 1 filler wire. I have a weld monger TIG finger so I can rest my hand around the pipe and then knock it off. As well as a stainless steel wire brush for cleaning and deburring of the pipe with cloth. So we'll be using DC polarity. We'll be running on high frequency TIG because I'll be running off the foot pedal. We also are going to be running a pulse. So we're gonna run 50 pulses a second with a peak current that's gonna be on time for 40% of the time, as well as the background current when the current is off on the off cycle, it's gonna be running at 35%. The amperage we'll be using today is going to be 63. Okay, so how we're gonna fit this up is we are going to make sure that there's no gaps at all. We will be running this just from the outside, getting a full penetration weld on the inside. And fitting this up, we are looking at no gaps all the way around the pipe, and the pipe is in line with each other. So this is a special cup. This is a number 20 Michael Furick cup. It is a gas lens cup, and we'll be running about 40 CFH out of this bad boy. And uh, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna come up, light up, do a little spot tack, not getting any penetration. This is really gonna help with our gas coverage and get those pretty colors, as well as I can have a little bit longer stick out. Right now I'm running about three quarters of an inch. Now that we got it all tacked up, we're going to set it up for the purge. So what we're going to do is we're going to protect the inside of this pipe from the atmosphere uh, by taping off the ends. Since argon is heavier than air, I'm going to pop a hole for the argon to escape so it doesn't build up pressure in the pipe and make our weld project outwards instead of inwards. I'm also going to poke a hole in the bottom for the argon inlet to go through. We will be running a 10 CFH purge. We're gonna let this purge a few minutes before we start any welding, just so everything in the inside is pushed out and it is filled with argon. One way to check is just by licking your knuckle. If it's cold, you're gonna purge. For the manipulation that I will be using to perform this joint, I will be doing a slight up and down motion, just so I get the complete joint and get hit both edges. If not, you have a very good chance of leaving an edge behind. We'll be using a 2% lanthanated tungsten, sharpened to a 35 degree point, and it is a 332 diameter.
So we got all finished up here on our coupon and uh, it went, went okay. We got full penetration on the inside and it'll work. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Well done.